Yo, 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 physics, 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 physics. Hi, I'm Manu and I'm back. This is season 2, episode number 7 from the Pathfinder series. And in this particular episode, I have brought to you a question from the rotation chapter where I'm going to apply the greatest rotation trick of all time. If you haven't watched the greatest shortcut of all time, watch the link in the description. It is part of the top 10 must watch videos before JE Advance. Make sure that you watch the entire playlist of those 10 videos. All right, let's take a look at this question where I'm going to show you how to do this in the fastest possible manner. In the arrangement shown, masses of the blocks are. Uh, M0, M1 and M2. So these are three blocks that have been given to us. And the radius of the movable pulley is 10 centimeters. So this is the movable pulley. The threads and the pulleys are ideal and friction between the blocks and the horizontal surface is negligible. So the pulleys are all massless. Find the change in angular velocity of the movable pulley in a time interval uh, 0.22 seconds. This is the time interval in which we need to find the change in angular velocity. So if we can find the angular acceleration of the movable pulley, then we'll simply get the angular velocity by multiplying angular acceleration with the time interval. Alright, so let's take a look at how we can solve this in the fastest possible manner without any need for simultaneous equations. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this block M0 at the center and I'm going to stick M1 on the circumference here and M2 on the circumference on the right. So this is all part of the shortcut method that I have already shown in my pre previous videos. Once again, if you haven't watched that video, you need to watch that. The link is in the description. After that, you can come back to this episode and have a look at its application in this particular question. Alright, so now what will my diagram look like? So the movable pulley has a mass M0. So the mass of M0 is being given to us as uh, 5 kg. So this is uh, M0 and 5 g will be the gravity. There will be no component of gravity of M1 or M2 because the component of gravity of M1 is perpendicular to the string. Remember, we only draw the forces along the string. So, I will have M1 stuck at the left and M2 stuck at the right. Alright, now I want to find the angular acceleration of this pulley. And we would like to write the torque equation in order to get the angular acceleration. So, about which point will we write the torque equation? Here we do not know IOR kaha par If we knew instantaneous axis of rotation, that will be the best point. Is what we can write the torque equation. But here we So the next best point is the center of mass of the system. About the center of mass of the system, we can write torque is equal to I alpha. And uh, the first thing that we need to locate is the center of mass. So we've been given the masses of M1 as 5 kg. M0 is also 5 kg. And M2 is 10 kg. And uh, let's say the radius, the radius is uh, given to us as R. So now it should be very straightforward. You can calculate the center of mass location of the system and the center of mass location will come out to be at r by 4 from the center. So that's a very basic calculation. I'm leaving that calculation up to you. All right. Now I'm going to write the torque equation. There's only one force that is acting. That is the gravity of m0. So the torque equation of uh, 5g about the center of mass of the system is going to be 5g into r by 4 should be equal to i alpha. So the key point in the shortcut method is that you have to include the moment of inertia of the blocks which are now represented by the particles stuck on the circumference. So moment of inertia of m1. So m1 is also 5 kg. This distance from the center of mass is 5 r by 4. So I'll have m1 which is 5 kg times 5 r by 4 the whole squared plus what about m0? m0 is also 5 kg, so 5 times the distance from the center of mass is r by 4, m r squared, plus finally m2, which is 10 kg, and that's at a distance of 3 r by 4. So that will be m2, so 10 times 3 r by 4, the whole square. This is the moment of inertia times alpha. So very straightforward calculation, I'll leave it up to you. You will get alpha as 100 by 11 radian per second squared. Just uh, substitute uh, g as 10 and uh, small r the radius as uh, is being given as 10 centimeters. So make sure you convert it into meters and you'll get this alpha and omega is simply alpha delta t. So delta t is given to us as 0.22 seconds. So that will leave us with the answer of 2 radian per second. And that's your answer. So we have avoided as always in such questions the need to solve simultaneous equations. Absolutely no need to solve simultaneous equations and uh, no need for tension. Na is string tension chahiye, na is string tension chahiye, na apne dibang tension chahiye. 
So you have 11 days to go for your J advanced. If you ever were thinking about purchasing the Game Changer course, the time is now. Time is today, not tomorrow. Get the Game Changer course at the discounted price and learn about 120 plus examples and solved questions using my cute shortcut methods. And I hope your J advanced preparation is going well. I know you've worked hard for two years. These last 10, 12 days, just keep your cool, keep your composure. And I have full faith in you that you're going to do well. I know you're going to do well. And I know that I'm going to see you at the top. Good night.